Qatar can count on France's support, according to French President Emmanuel Macron. World Cup streaming outages have been experienced in parts of Saudi Arabia. Meanwhile, London's transport network has banned ads related to Qatar. And finally, here are your World Cup results, with more matches yet to come later tonight. Hi, it's Ali. This is The Roundup. Here are today's top stories. French President Emmanuel Macron has tweeted in support of his country's national football team and World Cup hosts Qatar. In his tweet, Macron said the Football World Cup, the first organized in the Arab world, bears witness to concrete changes that are at work, adding that Qatar can count on France's support. This comes after French cities chose not to broadcast World Cup matches on large screens in public fan zones. France defeated Denmark 2-1 to become the first team to qualify for the round of 16 on Saturday night. Todd TV, a station owned by Qatar's broadcaster B in Media, group has sent out a statement concerning a World Cup broadcasting outage in parts of Saudi Arabia. The broadcaster said that the outages were happening due to reasons outside their control, adding that more details will be shared as soon as it's available. Talk TV is the official World Cup streaming service in 24 countries in the MENA region. Bein was banned in Saudi Arabia for several years due to the GCC blockade, but was restored to the kingdom in October 2021. London's transport body has caused quite a stir by banning adverts promoting tourism in Qatar. The reason for the ban, Transport for London alleged was over Qatar's official stance on the LGBTQ community. The move has reportedly angered officials in Doha, with the Financial Times newspaper reporting on Saturday that Doha was reviewing its investments in the British capital. And finally, in World Cup news, two major back-to-back -back shocks were on the cards as Costa Rica somehow managed to beat Japan with one shot on target in the entire match. Winning 1-0, whilst Morocco thumped European giants Belgium 2-0 to put one step into the knockouts. Coming up later today, Croatia faces Canada, while tonight's mega matchup features 2010 World Cup winner Spain taking on 2014 World Cup winners Germany with heavy stakes on the line. Thank you for joining us. For more of our stories, head over to our website www.dohanews.co. Have a great day.